got to Target and it's packed down actually. We're just, you know, gonna do some errands, which means touching blankets, sniffing candles, <laughs> and um, we're just parking the truck. We're really just gonna look around. I'm with my sister. We're just gonna spend the day together. Just a little afternoon stroll to get out of the house. And what else? What can I say, you guys? Oh, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful day in Texas, you guys. Super sunny. Super sunny, but it's in the 80s, but it's not even hot or cold. It's just like... It's a little windy. Perfect. It feels perfect. And we got pampers up here in the front because we're moms, guys. We're moms. We have to be smart and carry extras. Yeah. I totally want to get a Starbucks drink. Like, what should I get? Should I get a coffee or a frappe or a refresher? Mm, I don't know. I think a refresher. All right. Oh, look. It was meant to be because you see that Starbucks cup way right there in the front. I know. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna get off and get everything ready to do some shopping. Oh, I really like the cookies. They're so good, the really thin ones. Mm -hmm. and these are 120 calories. Is it from that lady? Ooh, chocolate almond. Yeah. No, we don't need that, though. Maybe that's from like to still sugar. Hmm. Have you ever had Lustelo? Yes, but not the instant. Do you think it's good? Or should I just go with the classic? I don't have Amazon anymore. Oh. Struggle. Oh, we're getting popular. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Wait. Why did you go for Abuela and not Ibarra? Huh? I don't know. I think that would be the. But hey, mom would buy you back. No, she wouldn't. She wouldn't. She did. Yeah, remember, it was black and white. I mean, it was red and white. That big brand, you know. From Is that school. Ibarra? It was Ibarra that she would bring. Are you sure? Yeah, oh my yeah. God. Are we Ibarra and not Abuela? I think we're Ibarra and not Abuela. Oh my God. But this one does have a deeper flavor and it's not as sweet as Abuela. Did you know that? I'm going to get Abuela though because we're getting Abuela now. And it's also cheaper. Y'all see this? Two oh nine, not. Oh, and this is disgusting. Disgusting. Never ever. Is Yes, it's so nasty. Okay, so yeah, definitely getting some of that. And then, what else do we need? I need... Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hi, boy boys. Hi, boy boys. <laughs> Hi. Do you like it? <laughs> Do you like it? Hey. <laughs> so Guys, the Mexican starter kit. You got the taco with the aguacate and the limoncito. They just need a little salsa. <laughs> How cute. I'm going to get them this. How are you? Good morning. Si, papa. It's for them to bite, you know? But he still can't hold things. No. So he, that's why I haven't bought it because he still can't hold stuff. Mm -hmm. But as soon as he can hold, this is the first thing I want to buy him. The Mexican starter kit. Mm -hmm. From Fisher Bay. started crying at Target and it was time for us to go so we were managed to pick up some coffee <laughs> so I'm packaging all this milk so my sister can take it with her and put it in my parents freezer I like to just put them store it in Ziploc bags like this oh you're gonna home from Target and I already put up everything. My sister left. She left for the day since it is Sunday. Sundays for us, for me and my husband, it's our Saturday since I work on Saturdays and my husband is too. Sundays is just like our chill day but for her she really has to go to work tomorrow so she has to go ahead and leave but we are about to 
cook and we're just gonna grill up some chicken and fajitas that I had in the freezer and I'm also gonna be making my habanero salsa and I asked you girls if you wanted me to share my recipe for the salsa and y'all said yes so I'm actually trying out a recipe from Mo Money if y'all follow the Murillo twins her their aunt Mo um, Vicky she shared this really good recipe it looked really good you guys uh, for a pollo asado that her dad made and it's super simple just like three ingredients so i'm gonna go ahead and film it for my channel so that's going to be in another video us trying it out but let, let me give y'all a sneak peek it looks really good and for the habanero salsa i'm gonna show y'all how i make it since we are gonna barbecue i have to have chile so let me show y'all i'm using two four six Roma tomatoes, two habaneros, two garlics, and four serranos in here. Now you can either grill these on the comal or better yet, if you already have the barbecue pit going, you can also grill these outside, like roast them. But I don't have that yet. We are not, um, ha we don't have the barbecue on and we're not gonna turn it on until like later. And I don't wanna roast them inside the house because of the baby. So I have stopped roasting chiles just because I don't want them to like Enchilarse, so I'm just gonna boil them. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this to boil you guys and then we'll move on with the little recipe Hey guys, it is like 7 30. I'm gonna start on the babies He's right here in the mirror. I'm gonna start on the babies. He's watching mama I'm gonna start on the baby's night routine uh, while my husband turns on the barbecue pit The chicken has been marinating for a while you guys. So I'm really excited to try that and we got some fajitas too that we're about to cook up. But I need to bathe the baby and just like put him down for the day and you know, get everything going. I boiled the salsa and everything. So the salsa is ready, you guys. Turn on the light. The salsa is ready. As you can see, I just need to um, blend it up. But I'm gonna do that right before dinner so I can warm it up with you guys and show you how I cook it. But I'm gonna go ahead and start getting the baby's bath. Oh my God. Start getting the baby's bath ready. Bath stuff ready. Oh, lately we've been using this um, Honest Body Wash Shampoo, Perfectly Gentle and Sweet Orange Vanilla. It smells pretty good. It's not my favorite. I really like the lavender one the best, but you know, in the baby's room, we are trying to... Zoe, uh-uh, you know you can't get in here. So we hung up his little um, wood plate here or wood plaque with his name on it. Super cute, you guys. And that right there is just like a little curtain tie back, but it does I can't put it here yet. So I'm just, I just have it here on the side. And these curtains, I got them from um, walmart.com online. They were only $10. So that's pretty good. And then I just have one clear one here and that's another curtain tie back that I have there that we got at a hobby lobby so slowly i'm trying to finish decorating his room but that's all we have for now you guys gonna go ahead and pull out everything for him to go to sleep his little sleeper i think is in the washer so i will be back when i'm putting him to bed you guys so is that the chicken Mmm, it looks so good. It smells good out here too. So we've been using this to marinate the chicken where it was sitting on. And we put it on foil now because after we cook it on the grill, we don't want it to burn. Okay, you guys, so I'm about to make some quesadillas. I grew up eating quesadillas with our barbecue, so I usually would make them outside, but we are almost done with the chicken, so I'm just going to cook them in here. And we just are having some canned baked beans. My husband really likes to eat baked beans with fajitas, and now that we've been married, that's how I eat mine, too. And look at this cheese I found at Target. It's habanero Monterey Jack cheese. So that should taste good, I hope, because we love habanero. 
and then the salsa came out so good i've been already eating it and i just have some guacamole and some lime and i've been eating mine with doritos because we don't have tortilla chips so y'all need to try this recipe you guys i know y'all will like it mm. let's try arnie light oh this one's so much better so this is just some sausage and we have some fajita the chicken is not done cooking we have our habanero salsa i just put it in the blender you guys and added salt and that's it super good we have some guacamole over here and the quesadillas i just started eating that one it tastes pretty good with this habanero cheese so we're just waiting on the chicken to be done and we're gonna serve ourselves now <laughs> i'm trying out the quesadilla with the cheese it's good it has like a little kick to it oh look at that That's gonna be good. So we're gonna go ahead and eat you guys because I'm so hungry. The chicken's not done. So we're gonna serve ourselves though.